Hello everybody, it's Julia here from the Highly Sensitive Tarot and I'm back today to show you some decks in my collection. So for April and May, I worked with a lot of my nature-based decks. So they were decks that were botanical, flowery, trees, um, landscapes, all sorts of things. And, um, and it's now June and so I've, <coughs> excuse me, my voice, um, so I've come to the end of that and I really enjoyed looking at all my decks, not quite as much as I would have done normally because I don't have much of a garden at the moment to have been playing in. Um, but I've sat and read through a lot of my cards. I've done a lot of studying with them and, um, and I actually worked quite a lot with the landscape tarot, which I enjoyed quite a bit. Um, I found that quite challenging actually emotionally so that was a that was a good deck um, but for June and July I've decided to have a look at all my animal decks um, I have around about 30 I think including my cat decks of which that's maybe 10 of them <laughs> and I think over two or three videos I'm going to show you them all and I'm going to try and have a little play with all of them or we'll certainly give them all some attention over this time because what I've been trying to do this year is to really get to grips with all my decks and try and work out which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm not. I think my collection is up to about 120 at the moment. So um, I've got about seven decks in my rehoming pile um, and there may be a few more by the end of the summer so so today we're going to have a look at maybe 10 decks um, of my animal theme decks and the first two I've got here are my Kim Kranz decks and they're both little tins they're both little pocket decks and while the um, the tarot deck is not solely animals I think there are enough animals in here for us to consider it a sort of animal themed or animal based or certainly heavily featuring animals um, within this deck. And I'm going to show you them and I'm not going to find any, am I? Here we go, look. Swan and a lion. It's a really cute intuitive little deck actually this. it's It surprised me. I have worked with it um, a fair bit, actually. And, um, yeah, I really enjoy all the birds in here, actually. So, yeah, there's a lot of them. Look at the fool, bless. The worms, the geese. Uh, what's that? A heron, perhaps? Lots of owls in here. Bats, yeah, spiders. There's all sorts of animals, isn't there, in this deck. So that's a really cute little deck. And um, as I said, I have I have played with that a fair bit, actually, this year. But not so much the Pocket Animal Spirit Guide. This is an Oracle deck. And um, I edged both of these decks. The other one I edged in black and this one in blue I think it's a much lighter blue than it looks in the camera but um this is such a nice little deck actually I don't know why I don't pull it out more I really do get all of the um the animal energy in this deck It is definitely an oracle deck, isn't it? It's not a... yeah. So, what have we got here? Yeah, they're just... Um, I think the animals are divided up into water... Yeah, they're divided up into water, fire, earth and um, air. It's a really nice deck. I'm going to look forward, actually, to pulling a card from here every day. Yeah. 
So that's a very, very cute little deck. I love these little tins. I <laughs> just love them. So that's Kim Krantz's Wild Unknown Tarot and Oracle deck. Next, I've got um, here Tarot Familiars. This is a Fournier deck. I think this is a proper deck. I don't think it's a knockoff. It was bought for me um, maybe three years ago by my friend. And um, sorry, I keep turning my heater on and off. It's so chilly here in the UK. I think it's about 13 degrees and I've turned all my main heating off, but, you know, quite a while ago, but it's chilly. So, yeah, like I said, I think I do think this is a proper deck. I don't think it is a knockoff, um, despite the fact that it's in just a very simple little tuck box. It's a Fournier deck by Lisa Parker. I think I've got a couple of Lisa Parker's little prints somewhere of her cats. I really like the judgment one there with a the little ginger cat with the tarot cards. <laughs> they are funny. And to be honest, you don't ever see this deck on YouTube, I don't think. I don't remember seeing anybody using this deck. Um, and to be honest, I don't read with this deck. I love all of the, the top trumps. I love all of the majors. Lisa Parker's artwork is really cool. You know, especially the cats. I mean, look at that. That's really cute. The Wheel of Fortune, the wolf. They are really, really cute. But, oh, look, that's like my cat, that one there. Really, really, really nice. But as you get into the miners, you see they're just pips. And unfortunately, pips decks just do nothing for me really I mean I could read with them but they wouldn't be any fun so I don't really know what I'm going to do about them I think I keep them because well one they were bought for me and two um I suppose I like the majors but um but will I ever use this deck? Probably not. No, I don't know. So there's that one. Lisa Parker, Tarot Familiars. Then we have in this tin here, which you've probably seen me show before on my channel. This is the, the Mouse Boat Tarot. And I originally saw this very, very cute little deck on... Um, Sandra's channel at Spirit of Avalon and I fell in love with it it's so cute and whimsical and quirky and I've got such a thing for hamsters if I'm honest <laughs> when I was a little girl I always had hamsters and I just I love all of the little creatures in this you also get some astrology cards as well which are quite fun like Aries we've got this ram here <laughs> Capricorn with a go. So, yeah, we've got some astrology cards there. I mean, what is not to like about these cards? Look at this. Look, the Seven of Swords, a blue tit, a little mouse and a kitten. And it's all set against all of these sort of um, old English sort of streets, really. Look at the rabbit here in the Eight of Swords. <laughs> They are so cute. Oh, and look at the hedgehog. The Ten of Swords with the Robin. Oh, so, so cute. The Nine of Wands. Look at the kitten. Oh, oh my God. They are just the cutest of cutie things. They're probably, again, not a deck that I shall particularly read with because... And to be honest, the cards are small. Without my good glasses on, I struggle to see all the detail in them. And um, 
To be honest, I don't actually know how they'll read. I perhaps ought to read with them, didn't I? I just sit and look at them and ooh and ah over them on the whole. <laughs> so. um, the next deck is this one, the Creatures Tarot. And um, the, sorry, the, um, the Mouse Boat Tarot comes from makeplayingcards.com if you're interested in that. The Creatures Tarot, I feel feel came from the Wootique in London. Um, my son bought me this for my birthday a couple of years ago and I include it here with the animals because well they're not really animals they're more animals than people I suppose this deck and um, I really like it. I've not seen anybody particularly um, use this I don't in fact I don't think I've seen anybody else on tarot tube with this deck um, but I really like it it actually considering it's quite simple it does read really well um, as you can see they are creatures but they're more animal like creatures than um, people aren't they like we've got an octopusy thing there and I don't know, a deer type thing there and a Loch Ness monster and yeah, I really like it. It's a really intuitive little deck. It reads really easily. It's quite cute. I really, really do like it. It was a good choice for my son to buy me that, I think. So that's by Sarah Kathleen .co uk. A simple, human free, thoughtfully designed tarot deck. <laughs> Um, the next deck I've got here is Doreen Virtue's Magical Unicorns. This is a Hay House production and I actually bought this second hand to replace the deck that I had years ago. Um, I had lots of um, <clears throat> Doreen Virtue's decks many years ago, her angel decks, um, fairies goddess all sorts of I think I had mermaids and dolphins I had all sorts of decks actually and um God, look how beautiful these are still beautifully gilded um and when I got divorced many years ago my ex-husband <laughs> really liked some of the decks and so we sort of split them in half and I think the unicorns and the mermaids and dolphins went to my ex-husband and I kept a goddess deck and a fairies deck I think I think he also had the angel decks but that's okay oh, look look how cute these are teamwork work with others to make this situation come about so I decided to rebuy this I bought this second hand um, last year sometime and um, I'm really pleased that I did. These have real sentimental, sort of nostalgic um, value to me. And they actually, you know, the, the old Doreen Virtue decks, the guidebooks are just beautiful. The, the cards are beautiful. The gilding's always beautiful. I just love them, really. Yeah. So there's that one. Um, I also have here Sacred Horse, Oracle of the Sacred Horse by Kathy Pike and Laurie Brindle. And this is a uh, Blue Angel. Blue wow. Angel, copyright, Kathy Pike, yeah. Ride higher planes of harmony and connection. Come home to your body, heart and authenticity, forever changed by your encounters with the Sacred Horse. And this is a lovely, lovely deck. Um, many of the cards are landscape, I think. Not, uh, not upright. Spirit of light after the darkness. And I'm, I mean, I just absolutely love horses. 
again a very sentimental thing from my childhood my childhood was full of horses i used to ride regularly i used to work at the local stables um i had a favorite uh little pony called bran that i used to ride <laughs> this is a lovely lovely deck actually it really is the guidebook is um these guidebooks are often really nice from Blue Angel, aren't they? I've discovered. You get a lot of information about the card. You get some questions. They're really, um, they're really cards that make you reflect and think. And they have a lot of information in them, actually. Yeah. So that's a really, really nice deck. The Oracle of the Sacred Horse. Really pretty. Um, next we have the Power Animal Oracle Cards by Stephen Farmer. And this is... This is probably one of the decks that survived my divorce many years ago because I know I've had this deck a long, long time. I think it might be 20 years old. Let's have a look. 2005, yeah. So it is almost, isn't it? And I think I bought this new. Um, the box is long, long gone. I don't honestly know who publishes this. Hay House, yeah, it's Hay House again, isn't it? Yeah. And this, I would never part with this deck. I absolutely love it. It's, It gives brilliant readings. It's a brilliant deck to either start a tarot card reading off with to give you, a, <coughs> excuse me, kind of a theme. Or it's a good deck to use at the end of a reading. Um, you know, just to help you clarify a little bit and bring the reading together. It really has provided me with an awful lot of inspiration over the years. As you can see, it's all upside down. The guidebook is fantastic. It gives you a lot of information about every card. Let's have a look at the seal here. So it says, immerse yourself in artistic and creative expression. It says, your subconscious mind is the playground of your imagination, which waits to be called out by your willingness to unleash the bonds of personal convention and societal restraint, to challenge and surpass the usual limits you've placed on yourself regarding artistic expression. This means nothing less than to release your familiar sense of identity and stretch the boundaries of your creative mind. So drop underneath those restrictive beliefs and tap into this most natural drive towards creative artistic expression. Feel it in all its depth and dimensions and then throw yourself into it. Whether it's singing, dancing, painting, drawing, writing or some other path. This is food for your heart and soul. Don't put it off any longer. It's time to take that plunge. So there we go. That is such a nice deck. Such a helpful, practical deck that I think as well. I think nearly all the decks that I'm showing you today here, I have done a walkthrough of some kind on my channel or a bit more of an in-depth look. So if you're interested, do have a look. Um, the next deck is Tarot of the Animal Lords. And this is a low Scarabio deck. This is an out of print deck, as far as I know. Although I found this copy quite easily on eBay. I first saw this deck on uh, Carrie's channel. At Tierra Princess of Wands. And I just fell in love with it. It's so cute. So, so cute. <laughs> They're just like water. I think these are water buffaloes, aren't they? It's just so funny. And then lizards. It's 
spiders and look, a, a mouse dressed as a woman with a spider. A wolf chasing a buffalo. <laughs> oh, the Ten of Swords. I'm not quite sure what that is, but the vulture's waiting. A tiger. A fox. A praying mantis. Another buffalo type thing, a pigeon, a leopard, a walrus, a rhino, the queen of wands is a koala, <laughs> dressed as a sort of eastern princess with a lizard and a parrot. You get um, just the little wide white um, guidebook with this deck which mine is very crumpled. Like I said, it was second hand. Oh, I've got the High Priestess tucked in there. I think I must have used that for a top trumps. You don't get a lot of information in here about the cards. Like um, the High Priestess, it just says, uh, where are we? Cow, elephant, study, wisdom, mystery, hysteric selfishness and ignorance so you don't get a lot of information about why we've got all these other little animals here and why the animals are dressed as they are but that's just part of the fun isn't it such a cute deck and i've got one more deck to show you for this video i think i am going to do them over three the next video that I'll do will be another 10 um, animal decks and then the, probably the third video will be I think about 10 cat decks that I've got because I'm waiting for a cat deck at the moment that I've ordered that's coming from Canada actually. So, so this last deck here again I saw on the lovely Sandra's channel at Spirit of Avalon she does have some very very cute decks. And this is Blooming Lovelies. And I think this came from Etsy. This is by Zeppelin Moon. Zeppelinmoon.com. Um, whimsical Bad Assery. You will find 53 oracle cards and two guide cards. All artworks are original hand-painted watercolours by Amber Fossey. And this collection is a wild creature built card by card with giant love. The blooming lovely one is you made in the UK and this is just oh my god it is the cutest of cutest cutest decks with the cutest of little messages a beetle has better places to be <laughs> look up baby it's all for you dance on the back of a crocodile <clears throat> Start afresh, said the egg. Remember nothing except how to get out of your shell. <laughs> Absolutely bloody lovely. This one. My hot shit brings all the flies to the yard. <laughs> Take the road less travelled. Oh, you were once wild too. Why wear your sad face when you can wear your banana? Oh, bats really like bananas. Fruit bats do, I know. You are starborn, solar kissed and lunar blown. Oh, look at this one. Sun's out, bum's out. In fact, I'm going to put this on my altar and hope that it's going to bring, with the intention that it's going to bring the sun in the UK, because... We have had no sun for about a fortnight now, or if we do, we get five minutes and then it rains heavily. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's all quite tedious now, the weather. It's almost June. Well, it is June, isn't it? It's June. Oh, what am I talking about? It's June. So there we go. I think that was about 10 decks. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. Do let me know if you've got any of those. And in the next week or so, I'll record video two, which will be kind of the rest of my animal based or animal themed decks. And then I will do a cat 
video as well of my cat deck. So I hope everybody's well. Please do say hello and I'll see you all again soon.